in the conclusion I'm going to mention you three keys that Israel did write them down that Egyptians did these were the three keys that unlocked the storehouses the first one is faith and faith is when you know that you are a child of the promise and you don't have to be a slave of your problem faith they knew grain existed they knew their problem their famine is not going to turn into a funeral their famine will turn into a feast because Joseph has already planned for this when you are a child of God's promise you have a freedom in your mind no longer to be a slave to your problem if you are struggling with poverty I want to encourage you today do not become a slave of your poverty first of all be free in your mind become a child of God's promise the Lord is my shepherd I shall not lack that's who I am enslaved to if you are struggling in your health do not be the person who is a slave to your sickness some people are sick in their head the way they talk about their sickness oh I'm always sick something is always wrong with me and if they go for a day without sick they're tormented because why is nothing bad happening to me today they are shocked and surprised constantly expecting something bad change your thinking change your mind live a life here where you are above your circumstances maybe there is a famine in your house maybe there is a famine in your finances in your health in your ministry remember where the Holy Spirit is there is no famine he's not gonna come down to your level in your faith you have to come down come up to his level and be there in your spirit until your reality picks up to that level through the power of the Holy Ghost can somebody say amen let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ Ilya mentioned Ilya mentioned when Moses was trying to get people out of Egypt and he tried all of these things and nothing was working he tried the tricks the tricks didn't work and God came to Moses and he was so frustrated he wanted to already quit and people on the top of that became so discouraged they said you gave a sword to Pharaoh to torment us and hurt us we told you to leave us alone and Moses complains and whines to God and you would seem like God would say Moses I'm so sorry I let you down let me just go and clean up the whole mess get rid of Pharaoh and let's just get out of here I don't have time for all of this but in the middle of that you will see I think it's in Exodus chapter 7 if I'm not mistaken God comes to Pharaoh God comes to Moses say Moses I make you a God to Pharaoh and and Aaron is your prophet he said now you go God to Pharaoh Moses is not a God but what God was doing is God wanted to change Moses's zip code in the spiritual world God wanted Moses in the spirit not to come to Pharaoh as a slave begging for mercy he wanted to come to Pharaoh as a king demanding justice something happened after that declaration the Bible says Moses start bringing plagues until that no plagues every plague Moses pronounced was a direct insult and an attack on one of the chief gods Egypt worshipped gods went to war Moses rose up and the plague was a direct God it's as though through the power of Christ he was demolishing one idol after another one demon after another and only then their reality changed your reality won't change until your mind catches up with the revelation of who you are in God and you lift yourself up there even if your life is still somewhere out here this happens in your home group this happens in your health this happens in your single life and this happens in your finances don't wait until you get a promotion until you receive a revelation God has blessed me in Jesus Christ lift yourself up to the level of your faith lift your faith up there when your reality catches up to your faith you're in trouble because that means you stop living by faith then when the sickness leaves and you now live by your reality instead of constantly pushing further to live by faith constantly have greater dreams have greater dreams anytime you have a dream higher than your reality this is the space for the Holy Spirit to move but when your dream is at the level of your circumstances you give no room to God